Well, Alex, we've got this storage stuff going now. What was the whole start of all that? We'd done really well with trackers, and um, I think that really gave us a platform to kind of transition into something different. Uh, coffee for me, please. Yeah. Awesome, thanks. Trackers is, a, is very much a, a kilowatt play where it's uh, power, and uh, I think it was time to transition to energy. Actually, this is kind of neat. Um, didn't even realize this, but did you see the solar panels over there? Yeah. You can put it right on your house or right on your building or factory and use the energy from it, and you're at like 98, 99% efficient. How do you see our NX Fusion Plus making PV power plants more valuable with this technology as part of them? Yeah, well, with solar, it's, it's very much, you know, the sun comes out and you produce power from that. But the real value is to the utilities when they say, I'm expecting, I know exactly how much power is going to come out. And when they don't know that, they have to turn on their peaker plants. They, that gets really expensive. That's, that's, you know, you have to respond to it very quickly. And it causes destabilization in the grid. So when you add storage to that, you can ensure that at all times, you're putting the same amount of energy or power to the grid. And there's a tremendous value in that. And it's really complementary to solar. You started in residential, right? When you started your career? I did, I did. Solar? I was uh, eight years in, in residential solar and one of my favorite things to do was to stand next to the homeowner, with the homeowner, looking at the meter. As soon as we finished the install on their roof, we turn on the system and their meters would run the opposite direction. Oh, that's so cool. And that's, that, that really kind of really encompasses a lot of what we're kind of thinking about of this distributed generation, distributed energy, where for the first time, we're producing our energy remotely instead of at the power plants and we're utilizing the grid in, a, in actually a different way now because we're putting power and energy back onto the grid and uh, from that standpoint um, you know as you had mentioned you come home you start cooking dinner and everything and all of a sudden now you're using off the grid but with storage now we have that complement and we can continue to feed back onto the grid rather than draw energy from the grid. Next tracker within the last three years we've gone from zero to over five, gig, five and a half gigawatts in less than three years. That's, that's amazing. And we had a, a new technology and we, we were able to prove that in a very short period of time. So being able to say, hey, we can do a lithium for you, that's an exciting technology. That's happening in the industry now. That's correct. And right. that's kind of the accepted norm. Um, you know, we're used to seeing that in our cell phones, laptops, and, and now electric vehicles. I think a real moment for an X tracker was the very conscious decision to, to acquire Brightbox. What got you excited about that and, and you know, what, where, where do you see software playing into energy and storage? The machine learning technology we've developed at Brightbox is perfect for helping learn the customer demand profiles and we can then help control and deploy the energy that we've generated and stored in our solar power plants to the best possible use. We're able to use big streams of data to understand how plants are operating and keep them operating at their best. Find any problems, any issues before they become problems and keep everything running top notch. What exactly is the NX Fusion Plus product? Can you just lay it out, what are the parts of the thesis? It's about really thinking through and how we get real Real, real synergy amongst all the components, right? So, you know, we have a tracker system, we have um, over five gigawatts deployed, and we have a, a huge portion of that with our self-powered controller, which takes sunlight, powers a battery, uh, the computer tells the tracker where to face, and then it also monitors uh, current of the motor and the battery, and, it, and uh, it, it drives the motor itself. This same technology can now be deployed in all the other components that we have. So it can help run the pumps in the storage unit and give the same communications back and then rely on connected intelligence uh, of Flex um, to drive all that information back in a secure fashion so that now Brightbox can go and monitor that. So why next tracker? We have great potential to bring new technologies that we think are, are better for um, specific applications. So it's gonna help this thing scale like crazy, right? It's all about scale. It's all about commercial velocity.